Are you bewitched? Unbind us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Wolf kiss. Thank you Even if your wits were some. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. Do not need to tell us twice. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. Dag, Bragi, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Rose, it's a tough time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Let the sail out! Say for the mess you led us to. 
We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bold-headed, and I smell like blood and shit. I like my version better. What's the matter here? Sail out! They never really said where I had to go. Solution cannot be reached. Why not? Sail! Catch the wind! Shudders men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Sail down! Fight smart.
No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burned bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of seal skin breeches? Just take care of yeah. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Sail! Catch the wind! This was a seal. <laughs> I'll get used to this, hold on. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the parts where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a troll? Will that be part of your saga? There's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song.
Let's put in here. Loud noises. Well, well. We see they're over. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like bread and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. How are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. No, no. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Did I just... Oh, I did. That's a cool one. Thank you. 
I returned with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver and jewels. <laughs> Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. It does work. <laughs> Why is the Sears hut so far away? Bark. Get off the horse. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of savior. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I am. Uh, I have come for your advice. A private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jump. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. May have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling and fierce. And then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak, a single eye. He bid me follow him. I one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and 
unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. They always say that. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hue and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. That was quick. Flash rank deploy. Oh, was this a break? Hmm? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! 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 Do I walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? There's a wolf. the bug. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. 
You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you read the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory. And you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your mission. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. through Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Me. <coughs> so, 
I'm really bad at this. It's too focused on the space bar. I could outdrink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off fast by now. How long does this last? Oh, Orlock. I know this game well. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let's begin. Tells never fails. It says it failed me.
Okay with that. It fell. We can use one. Well fought. Ah, you just got lucky. I did. Another out. Another time, Brad. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary. Understood. It is. Just so. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. 
I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Fighting about wit, that's my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes. <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding. You're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Oh god, there's a charisma. Cool. Ben, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Sure. What do I miss over here? Sit a while and play, friend. <laughs> Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release.
Hey. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But oh, I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. The last one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Honor. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since wealth. For some time, I forged this weapon for me. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the helmet. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot force them from empty air. Not really a list that I got. They're gonna make me do it. Oh, this is all oh, he's doing it now. And. That should do it. Anything else? Don't think I'll ever use it. Do you need anything else? Keep asking me that. How are you? Yeah, I work it. I had five weeks. It was. Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe such as lower. My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. That is all for now. Return any time. If you liked anything you saw tonight, that one win, I had a couple good rippers of games. Yeah, rippers. Consider doing the free things. Leave me a follow here on Twitch. Maybe check out the YouTube. A lot of Tarkov stuff. Not a whole lot of Apex stuff yet. Yet. This a couple of these will go on. But if you like any content creators thing, big or small, please do the free things for them. It makes it a day. It makes them feel good about their work. Everybody have a good night.